Let's take a moment to look at some of the homework problems on the back. Some of these were challenging for students, so I figured I'd put some videos online to help you out with these problems tonight. One way you can solve these equations is by finding a common denominator and converting that, converting all of these to have that denominator. Uh, we're going to take a little shortcut with that. So taking a look at number 17, x over 2 minus x over 5 equals 9. The first thing that we're going to do is we're going to find a common denominator. So I'm looking for a number that 2 and 5 both go into, which is obviously 10. What I'll do with that information is I'll multiply both sides of the equation by 10, the entire equation. When I do that, the right-hand side is easy. 9 times 10 is 90. On the left-hand side, I need to multiply both terms by 10. So 10 times x squared, or sorry, not x squared, x over 2, is 10x over 2 minus 10 times x over 5, which is 10x over 5. Now I'm ready to cancel things out. 10 divided by 2 is 5, so 10x divided by 2 is 5x minus 10 divided by 5 is 2, so 10x divided by 5 is 2x, and I end up with 90 on the right-hand side, just as before. At this point, you should know how to solve. I'll go through this one example with you, but beyond that, I'm not necessarily going to go through every entire problem. 5x minus 2x, that's going to give me 3x, which is equal to 90. And then to isolate x, I'll have to divide both sides by 3, and I'll end up with x equals 30. Hopefully this was helpful. I'll make a couple more videos explaining at least two or three other problems on the back, so feel free to watch them. Don't hesitate to send me an email if you're still stuck on these problems.